So the princess asked me, how did you solve this problem? And I said, well, I just guessed. No, not really. You see, I first looked at the landscape of the terrain from a top view. I created a grid that surrounded the moat. And then I focused on the bottom left corner of the grid. Once I zoomed in, I divided the square into two right triangles. And I realized that this fit the Pythagorean theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that since it was given that a equals 20 and b equals 20 as well, because we're looking at a square with all equal sides, then we had to solve for c. We then plugged it in. So a squared plus b squared or 20 squared plus 20 squared equals c squared. And then when I solve for this, 400 plus 400 equals c squared, and thus the square root of 800 equals c. So c equals 28.28. So why is this important? Well, since we now know that c is 28.28, this means that the distance away from the bottom left corner of the outside of the moat to the inside of the moat is 28.28. So then we can draw an imaginary line, which represents the first plank, at a 90 degree perpendicular intersection of the distance of the first hypotenuse. And so we say that this is the first plank at 19 feet long. And since we intercepted it exactly the middle, we can say that 19 divided by 2 is 9.5. And so, at exactly half of the length of the plank, we would intersect the second plank. And since 9.5 is the distance for this side, based on the Pythagorean theorem, we can assume that side B and side A are the same. Considering that this is a 90 degree triangle with two 45 degree angles on each side. So side B right here. is 9.5, the same as side A. So now we're going to subtract the distance from this side B, which is 28.28 .28 minus 9.5. And if this is less than or equal to 19, then we know that we can use both planks to get across. So when we subtract this, we get 18.78, which is less than 19. So now we know that if we walk across this first plank and place the second plank in the middle, we would be able to cross. So if we turn one of the planks at a 45 degree angle, we put it on this bottom left corner of this 20 by 20 section of the bottom left of the moat. And then we walk across to exactly 9.5 feet into the length of this plank. Then we can place perpendicularly the second plank and walk across. And that's how you do it. For more information on Pythagorean Theorem, check out Chapter 4, Section 1 on Pythagoras' Crazy Hypotenuse.